Hey, we haven't heard from disgraced actor Kevin Spacey in quite a while. Let's give him a call. Hello. <laughs> Hello, yes, is this Kevin Spacey? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Who's calling, please? <laughs> this is Jimmy Dore from the Jimmy Dore Show. The who now from the what now? <laughs> Dude, I do. I have a show on YouTube. I know who you are. What do you want? <laughs> oh, well, Mr. Spacey, we spoke last year, and I suppose I just wanted to catch up with you and see how you're handling all the legal trouble. What legal trouble? What legal trouble are you talking about, Mr. Dorr? Uh, isn't a masseuse suing you for sexual assault? Okay, first of all, a masseuse is a female. <laughs> I was being sued by a male massage person, which is called a masseur. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Like how I played a chanteur in a Beyond the Sea. Okay, uh, uh, it, okay. Uh, isn't a masseur suing you for sexual assault? No. <laughs> <laughs> no? Well, he was. That suit has been dismissed in court. What? Why? <laughs> because he died. <laughs> well, excuse me? And I don't know how much you know about the law, Mr. Doerr, but if you were being sued by somebody and that somebody dies, then the lawsuit goes away. <laughs> and that's a fact, Jack. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. There is no God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. How did he how did he die? Oh, they don't know. He died under mysterious circumstances, which are my favorite circumstances. <laughs> a real nail biter, a real who done it. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling sick to my stomach. Really? That's strange. I feel great. <laughs> I guess this was a real convenient turn of events for you then, Mr. Spacey, the guy dying. No, absolutely not. I was devastated when I received the news. I extend my warmest condolences to his friends and family. You really are a terrible person. Oh, spare me your judgment. Would you have really done anything differently if you were in my shoes? Well, first of all, I wouldn't be in your shoes to begin with. Well, aren't you just a Boy Scout? You've got your ear to the ground, Mr. Jimmy Dore. You know how things work. You could go on your show and claim that my problem went away because Chelsea Clinton killed him with a blow dart during a butt massage. And you might not be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> my God, you're a monster. Unlike most Cretans, you actually have an idea of how things work in the real world. So don't give me that schoolboy act. I'm not falling for it. You see my case go away. You saw Epstein's case go away. You know that this world is ruled by a cabal of hyper-wealthy pedophiles and other sex criminals. You just don't know exactly how. But I have news for you. By the time you figure it out, you'll already be drowning on a dying planet while the rest of us are nestled into our doomsday bunkers in the high Sierras. Wow. Wow, indeed. Wowie, wowie. <laughs> and I will have waiting for me a case of 1959 Chateau Lafitte and a Filipino boy of yet-to-be-determined vintage. <laughs> well, Mr. Spacey, I have to say, in real life, you are 20 times as terrifying as any movie villain I've ever seen. That's the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Everybody, we're doing a live show every Sunday in October in Hollywood, California at the Sycamore Tavern. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for tickets and become a patron. We give you hours of bonus material every month. Become a premium member. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com and sign up. Thanks for your support.